Catch anything. Well, I've Ooh. just caught one, Buff, and it's big! Oh, oh, help me, Biff! You're right, it must be a hundred pounder. No, it's bigger than that. Keep pulling, we nearly have it! Yeah. We caught a bicycle! It's in good condition too. Back to the clubhouse. Come on, is it ready yet, Biff? Do you think it'll work? Well, if we fix the puncture and oil the chain and uh, tighten the brakes, it should be okay. Great. That's all I wanted to hear. Now we'll go fishing for bicycles. And when we've caught enough, we'll open the Inish Cool Bicycle Hire Company. <laughs> Tell me, Sean, do you ever think of buying a newspaper? Ah, no, thanks, Mrs. Turlock. Sure, why would I? When I can read it for free in Turlock's shop. Isn't that amazing? Great bicycle heist. 50 bicycles stolen from warehouse in one night. Ah, if we had crime like that in Inish Cool, they'd give me my own telephone in the police station. Dream on, Sean. Is that everything, Mrs. O'Malley? Yes, thanks. I'll pay you on Friday. Huh. I'll be lucky. <gasps> uh, hello, Mammy. Uh, Miss Wright asked me to buy sweets um, for the whole school. So, Baff, the usual jelly job jobs? Uh, no, Mrs. Turlock. I need a puncture repair kit, a can of bike oil, and um, a spanner. Baff, can you afford that? I can. When we opened the Inish Cool Bicycle Hire Company. Bicycle hire, is it? And how many bicycles does the company have? Just one. But we know where we can catch loads more for free. All right, Bob. Tourists like hiring bicycles. It could be a good investment. Thanks, Mrs. Turlock. You'll get your usual share of the profits. Now, isn't that interesting? Where would the O'Malley's get a load of bicycles? Mind yourself, boys, and don't talk to any strangers. Don't worry, Mummy. We'll be fine. Hmm. <laughs> Quick, Mrs. Turlock. Official business. I need the best seafaring disguise in the shop. Right, Sean. Let's see what we have. Now I have them. Oh, oh, it's freezing. Spanners would be good bait for catching bicycles. Maybe later I'll try an oil can. I think I've got something! Yo, Brilliant! We must be the best bike fisherman ever! Baff, there's a duck following us. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's try the oil camp then. Maybe we'll catch two. I'm not joking. It's a big yellow duck. Stop annoying me, Biff. I'll never fish for fish again. Bikes are much easier. Oh, Buff! Buff! I think I have another one! 
I'm telling you, Bob, that duck is coming straight for us. Biff, will you shut up about ducks and give us a hand? Yeah. Biff, help us. We're losing it. Now the duck is thinking, Bob. And someone's calling for help. I'm calling for help, you idiot. Help me catch this boy. Oh, uh, help me! I, I can't swim! Please! Help! That's not a duck. It's Sean. I'd recognise that voice anywhere. Oh, hurry, Bob! He's drowning! <laughs> Don't worry, Sean. We'll get you to shore. <coughs> Why were you swimming, Sean? Did you miss the ferry? <coughs> no, it, it's an undercover mission. Top secret. You're not supposed to see me. Come back. Come back, Sean. It's us. Sean! <gasps> Look at all those bikes! It's like Aladdin's cave. We can start the bike hiring company today. Not so fast. Biff Buff and Ben O'Malley, you're under arrest for the Great Bicycle Heist. Bicycle? What? He's got water on the brain. We never saw those bikes before. A likely story. You're coming with me to the station. <coughs> Greatest crime of the year. You'll have to go to the mainland uh, for a fair trial, and then they'll send you to jail. The only thing we did wrong was to save you. Uh, you did. Uh, so I'll make sure you have a good meal before you're condemned. What'll it be? Can we have jelly jub jubs, yeah, yeah. lemonade, and triple ripple cake? All right. I'll go get it from the shop. <gasps> there he is, the traitor! Release the old man! Let him go! Let him go! The law is the law. I tracked them down to their hideout and found the bicycles. They're guilty! Boo! Release the old man! Release the old man! Release them now! Release those boys! Let them go! No way! I told the sergeant that would be on the evening ferry. Oh, you heartless creature. This is nonsense. I'm going to call the sergeant. He's an old friend of mine. The O'Malley's should have their case heard here on Inish Cool. It's true, Sean. We must hear all the evidence. I suggest a meeting in the school hall to get to the heart of the problem. All right, Father. But they're still going to jail. <laughs> Silence, if you please. Mrs. Turlock will speak on behalf of the uh, accused. Thank you, Your Honour. <coughs> My clients, Biff, Boff and Ben, are innocent as the driven snow. Now, for my first witness, I call Mrs. O'Malley. All I can see is they are the most innocent and honest little lads a mother could wish for. Thank you, Mrs. O'Malley. Not only are my clients of upstanding character, they have near-perfect alibis. These honest citizens will swear that on the evening of the crime, my clients were driving around the island. Yes, they were frightening the llamas, chasing them with their bubble car. And they drove over my artwork, but, like, I'm cool with that. Uh, mm. They knocked over my washing line and dragged it for miles, but I don't mind because they're good boys. I rest my case. This evidence proves without a doubt that my clients never left Inish Cool on that fatal night. Thank you, Mrs. Turlock. So, Sean, what case do you make? It's like this, Father. 
Bob said to Mrs. Turlock in her shop <coughs> that he was starting a bicycle hire business. He said, we have just one bike, but we know where to get loads more for free. And that's good enough for me. In that case, I can only conclude that... Oh, sorry, sorry, Father. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, hello, Bill. Hang on, I'll put you on speakerphone. It's the sergeant on the mainland. He wants to speak with Sean. I heard about the bike, Sean. Well done. Uh, thanks, sergeant. Uh, I got the criminals, too. The O'Malley boys. Sean, we have the thieves. The security cameras at a warehouse caught Shady O'Sullivan's gang red-handed. Look, I'll send you the 100 euro reward, but I strongly suggest that you release the O'Malley's at once. Do I make myself clear? Uh, yes, Sergeant. Yes. I knew they were innocent. Hooray! So what do you think of that? 100 euro, he said. I don't think you have much to smile about, Sean, until you apologize to Big Bob and then. I think I made a bit of a mistake, lads. I I'm sorry. Ah, that's all right, Sean. John, that's no all hard right. feelings. So, Sean, can we keep our three bikes? Ah, no, Buff. But I'm looking forward to buying a phone for the station with my reward money. Dream on, Sean. Here's the bill for the rubber duck and flippers, the bicycle repair kit, and all those newspapers. That won't leave you much for buying phones. <laughs> I know how you feel, Sean. She usually tells us that. Ah, well. Now that the mainland knows there's crime on Anish cool, they'll surely give me a telephone in the station. <laughs> Keep dreaming, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go fishing again. Maybe we'll catch a car this time. <laughs>